Hi, my name is Andrew Gant, and welcome to the digital set of Exist Elsewhere's music video, Tokyo. Today we're going to show you how we use the Xbox Kinect, projectors, and other technology to make this music video. The Xbox Kinect started as a sensor that let users control and play video games with their body. But then something amazing happened. Hackers and computer programmers began finding ways to use it in many other settings. People are using it to create music, aid in hospitals, try on clothes, and probably the most groundbreaking feature of all, tracking your nipples. However, in our case, the most important creation is the RGBD toolkit, which allowed us to bring our visions to life using the Kinect or its smaller and more mobile cousin, the Asus Action Pro. RGBD toolkit allows filmmakers to motion capture a subject and then fly a virtual camera around it. Then, it provides you with many customizable options. Seeing how people use this effect is super exciting and it really opens up a new way to manipulate the real world with markerless motion capture. Exist Elsewhere is a new indie band who started by creating music in their dorm room at USC. Since then, they have stepped it up and created an amazing EP which they recorded at Woodcliffe Studios. They've performed all over Los Angeles at places like the House of Blues, the Troubadour, the Roxy, and more. It's really exciting to be able to like film a first music video. So we're here with Alex, and she's helping Hi. us out. And uh, it's really cool. We've only done the first few scenes. There's like a really long night ahead of us, but it's going to be fun. If you look at the band's original album art, you will find this little man everywhere. We ended up using this mascot as a character that pops out of a crosswalk sign and leads the band all over town. Because he is made of light, we wanted him to project these type of kinetic portraits all over town, and then lead the band to their very own version of Tokyo, a sort of kinetic digital world. To achieve all of these effects, we use some projection mapping methods. This is what happens when you don't have projector mounts. Fingers out. Wait, 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 wait. Fingers, fingers, fingers. We use the projector to create the kinetic portraits, a portal in the tunnel, and we used it in our car by strapping a gas-powered generator on top so we could project the light man himself running and flying all over LA. It was really fun to see him fly across the streets and buildings at night. Oh crap, there's our shadow. The song Tokyo is about getting away from it all and exploring a new world. We wanted to show the band escaping reality and rocking out in their own digital world. So using the depth sensors was a really perfect fit to achieve this effect. You know, almost every day I see something new created with the Kinect, and creatives have dreamt up completely unforeseen ways to use it to benefit film and interactive art. From musical motion activated visuals, to interactive sandboxes, emoji heaps musical gloves. Here on the back I have a Kinect. So this is the kind of next dimension. Uh, is so that I oh, hear I can kind of change sounds and manipulate things. They all just keep on coming. There's a tiny revolution happening by using new technology to make art. New things pop up every day with these new forms of technology. And one of the best parts about this is that it's only the beginning. With the Xbox One on the horizon, a new Kinect has emerged, and it is very exciting. It has the ability to read your heartbeat, detect the amount of force behind each move, and also has higher resolution and night vision. I can't wait to see what comes out of this new device, and I'm really excited to see what we can do with these new features. Technology is moving so fast now, and we're just going to have to do the same. Alright everybody, smile towards the camera, do a cheesy wave.
Tokyo, up to Tokyo.